What is the Shapiro-Wilk test? Have you ever wondered how researchers determine if a set of data follows a normal distribution? Understanding this concept is essential in statistics, as many statistical tests assume normality. One of the most widely used methods for testing this assumption is the Shapiro-Wilk test. Developed by Samuel Shapiro and Martin Wilk in 1965, this test is specifically designed to assess whether a sample comes from a normally distributed population. It is particularly useful for small sample sizes, making it a popular choice among statisticians. The Shapiro-Wilk test works by calculating a test statistic that compares the observed distribution of the data to a normal distribution. If the test statistic is significantly different from what would be expected under normality, the null hypothesis, which states that the data is normally distributed, is rejected. The output of the test includes a p-value, which indicates the probability of observing the data if the null hypothesis is true. A low p-value, typically below a threshold of 0.05, suggests that the data does not follow a normal distribution. Conversely, a high p-value indicates that there is not enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis. In practice, the Shapiro-Wilk test is often used in various fields, including psychology, biology, and economics, where understanding the distribution of data is critical for accurate analysis. It is important to note that while the test is powerful, it is not infallible. Factors such as sample size and the presence of outliers can influence the results. In conclusion, the Shapiro-Wilk test serves as a fundamental tool in statistical analysis, helping researchers assess the normality of their data and guiding them in choosing appropriate statistical methods.